iMath classes. Obviously, I'm not here today, and neither is Mr. Young. We have another one of those math meetings all day. So we have a special project that we need you to complete today. Your first step, just like always, is to head to your Google Classroom. So I have my morning class up here, Rockwell Math. Rockwell Young Math looks exactly the same. When you go to the Classwork tab, you'll see the substitute heading. All of you have been in science class at this point, so all of you have seen this before. Hopefully right now you're watching the Watch This First link. That's how you got to this video. I'm just going to quickly run through the directions of what you're going to do. You are using a... Oh, let me close my email so this doesn't pop up. You are going to be using a program called Storyboard That in order to create a comic strip about one of the multiplication strategies that we've been talking about the last two days. So when you click this link, Storyboard That, it will open this website, storyboardthat.com. You do not need to click log in or anything like that. You're just going to click this orange box here, create a storyboard. When you click that, um, yours won't pop up. You haven't done one yet. Yours will pop up with a blank um, comic strip here. Now, right now, this is only three frames. That's not a whole lot to work with. So if you come down here and you click storyboard layout, you can change it to what I want you to change it to over here is traditional storyboard, which will then give you six different frames to work with. Now, you are going to be creating a comic strip, teaching someone how to use one of the multiplication strategies. And if you're not sure what the multiplication strategies are, you have two resources. Yesterday we did this paper, bigger, there we go. You have this paper that we did yesterday in your Freckle notebook that has four different options of multiplication strategies. You might also have your candy corn that has different four different strategies as well. You can use any of them. It doesn't matter if you use repeated addition, the circle and tally groups or equal groups, skip counting, an array, lots of different great options. Your goal is to just teach a character in the comic strip how to do it. And you can have one character teaching another. So I'm going to quickly show you just how Storyboard works so that way you know. The first thing you need to do is click a background or find where you want your setting of your comic strip to be. And as you scroll, there are lots of them. And you can even click any of these up here. Make your selections quickly, though. You don't want to waste all of your time here. Maybe you want two people driving in a car. Maybe you want to be at school in the classroom and have a teacher teaching a student or whatever. You choose. It really doesn't matter. So maybe I want this little cafe here. That to be my background. Notice I just dragged that in there. So I can have my all of my frames be in this cafe, just dragging it in. Or maybe partway through my comic, I want them to go someplace else. I'll scroll this over. And maybe they go from that, oh, I don't know, let's see here. Maybe then they, they get in the car and drive. So I can just drag the car down. So I have my background set up, and now I need some characters. There are lots of characters here. Adults, teens, kids, um, you know, tons of different ones. Jobs, monsters and myths. If you're looking for like a Halloween themed one, you could do that. You know, all different characters here. You can click through them. Once you choose the one that you want to use. So maybe I want this vampire to be here. I'll sit him there. You know, there's lots of things that you can do. You know, you can edit their pose. So once I choose my two characters, maybe I want him talking to the wizard. So once I have them here, I can give them speech bubbles. Those are called textables in Storyboard. So I'll grab a text box here, and maybe Dracula is going to say something about, you know, hey, I want to show you a cool multiplication strategy. Now you're going to make it more creative. You guys are way more creative than I am. I just teach math. 
And then, so they will go back and forth and maybe Dracula will show this wizard how to teach or how, yeah, how to do a multiplication strategy. So I can have him saying that. And then I can have the wizard saying something else going back and forth through there. You're going to go through and make your comic. You have six frames. So each of these squares is a frame. So make sure that you get everything done and explain the entire strategy from your candy corn or your freckle notebook in those six frames. When you finish, you will click, let me get out of this here, you will click this word down at the bottom, save. When you click that word save, it's going to say create a new account, already have an account log in. You're going to be kind of creating an account. If you click this Google here, you don't need a username, email, any of that. You're going to click the red Google because you all have Google accounts. Click the red Google. Come on. Of course this is, oh, you do have to scroll down and click, I have read and understand the terms and conditions and privacy policy, of course. So once you click that, you can click the red Google. This screen will pop up with your name. You will have to click your name. I've already done it to practice doing this. You can title it whatever you want. Maybe you want to title it arrays or multiplication strategies strategy you don't have to put a description just some sort of name on it or you can just call it math not that big of a deal and then save storyboard then it will get you get bring you your your comic i only filled out three so it only gave me three you can print it if you would like if you print it please give it to the substitute so mr young and i can look at it tomorrow Print, you can click print. You guys have all done this before. You want to click storyboard only. And then you know how to find the downstairs yellow printer, the first floor yellow printer. I don't have it on mine because mine's a teacher computer, but you know how to find that. Once you print it, give it to the substitute, and then you can get back on Freckle. I'm really hoping that you guys have fun with this. I know that you all are super creative. And I'm really excited to see the comics that you come up with. I promise I'll be back tomorrow and maybe we'll show off some of these comics. Have a great day, fourth grade.